colorful night parade seen by 300,000 ushers in Orange Bowl festivities, leading to the clash of the University of Miami with Clemson as the American college football season comes to a climax in the traditional bowl games. More than ever this season, football interests turn to southern gridirons. Here, the news magazine of the screen presents highlights of the South's great bowl games. Pageantry and carnival join with the appeal of an exciting American sport. Now, the Orange Bowl itself, where South Carolina's unbeaten Clemson Tigers take the offensive against mighty Miami. Clemson halfback Billy Hare hurls a forward pass to end Bob Hudson. And a moment later, star fullback Fred Cohn makes the first half's only score. Clemson leads 7-0. Between halves, a day at the circus pageant thrills the crowd. But greater thrills are still to come. For after Clemson has scored again and leads 13-0, Miami gets moving. Halfback Frank Smith twists his way deep downfield to the Clemson five-yard line. Clemson's lead is cut to a fragile six points as Harry Malios scores for Miami. Another touchdown would give Miami a chance to go ahead. And here it comes. Quarterback Bob Schneidenbox pass to Ed Lutz. And Lutz runs it to the Clemson 12-yard line. A few moments earlier, Miami was behind by 13 points. Now as Jack Hackett throws to Frank Smith for a touchdown, Miami takes a 14 to 13 lead. Late in the fourth quarter, still leading by one point, Miami receives a Clemson punt. Harry Malios twists and turns on a sensational touchdown run that seems to give Miami certain victory. Great run doesn't count because of a penalty, and the last moment safety gives Clemson two points and the game, 15 to 14. In Dallas, Tennessee meets Texas in the Cotton Bowl, and here with Tennessee's Hank Lorisella doing the carrying is one of football's greatest broken field runs. Watch him die. Payne finishes what Laura Sella started with a lazy pass to John Grubel in the end zone. Tennessee takes an early lead, 7 to nothing. Then Texas takes command. After one touchdown, Ben Tompkins heaves a 34-yard pass to Gib Dawson, and Texas ends the half leading 14 to 7. Texas leads by a single point, 14-13, when a Tompkins pass is intercepted by Tennessee's Jimmy Hill in the game's dying minutes. Hill runs into Texas territory, and volunteer hopes stay alive. Now to grab victory from defeat, Tennessee's Laura Stella passes to Rechichar that puts Tennessee 26 yards nearer the goal. Three minutes remain. Laura Stella makes the most of them as his smash sets up a Tennessee Cotton Bowl victory, 20-14. In New Orleans, mighty Oklahoma, unbeaten in three years, meets Kentucky in the Sugar Bowl. Kentucky's quarterback, Babe Perilli, throws to halfback Wilbur Jamerson in the end zone. With the game only two minutes old, Kentucky leads 7 to nothing. Oklahoma battles to keep its tremendous string of 31 straight victories, but Kentucky won't stop. A collision ends a 16-yard game. Then it's Pirelli again, showing off his throwing skill. Al Bruno catches the pass and goes to the one-foot line. One play later, Kentucky's lead is 13-0. Finally, late in the fourth quarter, Oklahoma gets moving. Five times this year, Oklahoma has come from far behind to win. Can the Sooners do it again? Well, this play nets them a first down. And on the next play, Oklahoma makes its first score on a pass from Vessels to Green. But that's as far as Kentucky will budge. Mighty Oklahoma, rated the nation's best football team, bows to unconquerable Kentucky, 13-7, ending the greatest winning streak in modern times. And another year of football goes down in sports history.